What's going on, people? It's your boy Detroit Kingpin coming at you with another video right here from Lionheart TV, man. If you just tuning in, man, this is my first 2K video, man. Yeah, of the year, man. I'm coming back, man. The vet is back, man. I had to come back and, and voice my opinion, man, on a, all this stuff that's going on in the 2K community. I've been quiet for so long, but now it's time for your boy to come back and let y'all know how I feel about what's going on man it's been a, a lot of talk going on about how much the vc talk man that's why i got my man from all city yeah all city live tv man yeah man i watched him i watched a couple other youtubers but he was one of the people that kind of pointed out and the the chart on how much it cost and, and i noticed like yeah it's like double what it what it cost last year to make a player so what it is now so we're gonna jump into his video i'm gonna be pausing it letting y'all know what i think and just to let y'all know man i've been playing 2k since the very first one on dreamcast the very first just 2k nothing just 2k man yeah so i know a lot about it man and i just want to give y'all my opinion on it let's get into this video started when i created this chart about the cost for each build on nba 2k 23 and how drastically different it is the vc pricing is tremendously different than it was set up last year where last year you could purchase a hundred dollar package of vc with your 70 dollar game or even if you spent a hundred dollars on the game you get that additional package of vc you could cover the cost of your build and then some purchase your animations you can purchase clothing so you can look fresh out there on 2k but unfortunately this year the cost of your build exceeds the cost of that hundred dollars additional package that you guys normally purchase whenever you purchase a 2k game as you guys see behind me this particular build will cost me 473,000, exceeding the 450,000 that you receive for a hundred dollar package of vc from 2k and there's been a huge battle going on in the 2k community for other creators that aren't speaking out i'm not making this video to knock other creators who don't speak out but i will say the 2k community is having some sort of feelings about them folks who are either tied to 2k and not speaking out you can make they're showing you guys different bills but they're not telling you that you're gonna pay okay man that's my thing about this man like like he said man it's a lot going on in the community right now about they want you to speak up and and tell you, you know, like, what you should do and what you shouldn't do, man. I'm not nobody motherfucking father on here, man. I can't tell nobody what to do or what to buy with their credit card, man. It's like this. This is how I feel about them going up on the price, man. And be quite frankly, I'm glad they came up on the price, man, because they keep the non-series people the fuck away. All of the people that be out there not passing, you wide open, they not passing, they doing stupid less. They are not about to waste their money on some shit that they not good at basically so i'm glad because they keep the, the little non-serious motherfuckers away and they keep them them broke motherfuckers that, that's just fucking the game up away i'm glad that 2k raised the motherfucking price up man shit if you can't afford it go back to the motherfucking boat this much for the bill and i believe the community just feels like those folks are selling out i know joe knows was under some type of heat because i saw a video of him like explaining himself about these vc costs even though on his tweet he said i am against these vc prices but in the video i saw he basically says it is what it is what do you expect me to do about it and i think that's where there's a misconception one from the 2k community having high expectation from creators and the second misconception being that creators feel like they don't have leverage like their voices aren't powerful enough to create change this is not the gaming industry's first rodeo in a battle with the player bases and player bases have won a tremendous amount of times against the gaming industry and huge gaming developers it goes without saying and we can't ever ever forget 
that the people have a voice. Without the player base, there is no game. Without people like you and me, there is no gaming industry. Do you guys know that the gaming industry is set to be the number one venue for entertainment? And 2K is playing a huge part in leading the way toward wow. being the number one That's venue so for sad. entertainment. That's but so considering sad. the idea that 2K has made such a drastic change from one year to the next in VC prices, it's a critical year in my opinion. In my right. opinion, this is a year that the people have to speak out because if 2K gets That's away gotta with the skyrocket in inflation costs, then how much do you think we'll be paying for bills in the years to come? Next year, what's a bill going to cost us? The year after that, what's a bill going to cost us? I personally come from an era where you could buy games for $10 to $20 and there was no additional cost after your purchase. Can you believe that we're now in an era where you pay $100 for a game and you then need to put an additional hundred dollars on top of that in my youth there was absolutely no way i could have afforded that i came up in a poor upbringing so i think about them other kids them other hold on i mean to cut him off but yeah man i, I can touch on that too man because i come up from from the old days too like i said i've been playing 2k since the very first 2k man and we used to rent basketball games from blockbuster and, and family video just just to have because we couldn't even afford 2k we couldn't even afford nba live so we had to go to family video and rent the game and maybe if, you know what i'm saying when it's due back shit you might not even bring the motherfucker back but your mama gonna make you bring it back so you gonna either have the money to re rent it again or you not gonna be playing nba live that's the area that i come up in you know what i'm saying but now that you gotta pay three hundred, four hundred dollars, you paying one fifty for the game. Then, like he said, a hundred ain't even enough. You need two hundred in VCs just to be fresh out there, just to do anything. You spending about four hundred dollars, man, on a basketball game that used to only cost shit forty dollars, and you playing that shit. You don't have to download nothing. So I feel him on that, man. But like I said, to each his own, man. This is the gaming industry is different now, man. It's more serious. It's more competitive. It costs more. If you ain't got it, man, man, you gonna have to play something else. You know what I'm saying? youngins who go to school and hear that their friends are playing 2k but their mom and dad can't afford to get 2k for them and if they actually can afford to get 2k for them they purchase the base game the standard game for them at 60 70 dollars or so that kid can't go to his mom and pop and say can you give me an additional hundred dollars can you give me more money than you actually paid for the game just so i can get my player build up and ready so i can play out there with my friends 2k is supposed to be be considered a community-based game and when most people hear community-based the last thing they're thinking is you have to pay for access and like Joe knows reference I know this is out of like people like Mike Wang's hands and Ronnie 2k that's not to say that they're just not a huge part of the problem because they are helping to promote and create the game I just want to say that it all starts with us the player base and we just can't forget that take two being this super large company we get that you don't think that they're gonna hear our voices what they do see is the numbers so if the 2k community lets this year pass by then these numbers get locked in and when these numbers get locked in when 2k is in those meetings or take two is in those meetings they're just only gonna fuck. see the black and white numbers and then next year their goal will be just to exceed these numbers and they'll follow strategy and create the best ways as a business I'm gonna tell you, man, something about about 2K, man. Like, like, like I said, man, this right here, man, this Lionheart TV, man. We keep it real on here, man. Hit that like and that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell, man, because I'm gonna keep it all the way 100 with y'all, man. I'm not working for 2K. I'm not getting paid for 2K. I'm basically making these videos, man, because I love to play the game, man. Like I said, I've been playing it since the very first one. My family is bro basketball fans. I come up in a basketball family. You know what I'm saying? I love the game. That's why I'm making this video, man. I'm not trying to hear the sugarcoat shit or none, nothing. So you're going to get it 100% raw right here on Line Her TV, man. How I feel is like this, man. Hey, shit. It is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Period. It ain't, it ain't, really, it ain't really nothing you can do, man. It ain't nothing you can do, man. 
Take two, man. Don't give a shit about nobody, man, but getting their pockets fat, man. And that's cool, too. All I ask them to do is just put out a game that, that we can enjoy and play, man, which they did in and, and my favor. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, that's another video. Let's get back into this business to exceed the numbers that they received this year you guys do not need to doubt for a second that 2k or take two would reconsider their approach if the numbers aren't matching up hands down everybody that i spoke to in the 2k community saying that they're creating less bills than they did last year last year i created something like 15 bills invested a ton of money into 2k this year my goal is only to create three bills now that'll be a tremendous difference in the money that i'm personally dishing out to two man and i'm gonna tell you the truth man i'm only making two bills this this year man because for one thing i'm always working i don't have the time and for two man that shit costs way too fucking much you talking about making three bills that's like 600 right there man for real man like man i don't like i said man Y'all got to take y'all time and be sure on what y'all doing on y'all bills, man. For real. Period. Feedback that I received from the 2K community is that they're not creating nearly as many bills as well. Considering that there was a huge jump in the pricing that you have to pay out for bills, this all may equal to less profits for 2K. Less profits for 2K means that they have to consider a change when they see that those numbers didn't meet their expectations. I'm truly hoping that this video resonates with you guys. I'm hoping that this video can help create some change as well we could rally get your voices out there again creators i'm not knocking y'all if y'all don't speak up against this and for the creators that are tied to 2k i understand your position but what i'm personally seeing is the years to come when one gaming company gets away with a tremendous increase in costs then that's only gonna lead the way for us to be paying for other games that we may be enjoying out there y'all just can't forget for a second that 2k starts with us and it ends with us thank you guys so much for two all right that's what's up man that's my man from all city live tv man you know go check him out man it's right here on the screen man go check him out i watch his videos all the time man jump shot videos all that man but like i said i had to get my voice out here man on this man because like i said this year man it's crazy this is a crazy year for 2k man and it brought me back man for real man Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button, man. It's your boy, man. I'm out of here. Peace.